<sighs> Hello. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Today's video, we are going to be going over 50 kids slash baby crochet ideas. So for all of you who have babies or have kids or just got invited to a baby shower and want to make them something, but you don't really want to make a baby blanket or maybe you do, you just don't know what kind of baby blanket or you're like, you know what? I want to get more creative. I don't want to just do a baby blanket. I want to make something really fun. Something that the mom's going to be like, oh my God, this is so creative. I love it. Um, this video is for you. <laughs> I personally don't have any children and I don't have any friends who have children and there's no babies currently circulating in the family yet but I did make this really cute baby sweater for my younger siblings stuffed animal okay like look at this sweater isn't this adorable it's the same as a baby size I don't know how big babies are that's like baby size right but yeah anyways I made this cute little adorable funky sweater thing so there are my credentials <laughs> when it comes to selecting good baby slash kid crochet ideas that's my credentials right there that's my background what's funny about this video is I have been in baby fever for a month or so now and I've been slowly collecting you know baby slash kid crochet idea video crochet ideas um for a video and then the other day I saw a couple comments stroll in with hey I got invited to a baby shower I want to make something I don't know what to make can you make a baby video and it was so funny because I just started a Pinterest board for a video idea just just because I'm like obsessed with baby clothes right now um and I saw that comment come in and I was like already on it girl already on it so you guys know the drill as always everything will be listed in the description box below in the order that i say it with a link to a free or paid written pattern or video pattern so you guys can make whatever i'm showing okay for this video we have three categories we have clothes slash accessories um just because the clothing and accessory line is kind of blurry when it comes to kids and babies so clothes slash accessories are one category and then we have toys which is a really big category. And then we have the miscellaneous category of everything that didn't fit into those two categories. As always, I'm gonna have little chapter markers if you wanna skip ahead or skip to the end or skip through. But with only three categories, I mean, where are you gonna skip, girl? Where are you gonna skip? Before I get started, if you're not subscribed, why are you not subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. We're all waiting for you to join us in this community, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. So for clothing slash accessories, we have baby hoodies, okay? Like how freaking cute these are. They're, I think this is like a bobble stitch. You know, like they're like textured. There's like little bumps. Um, and then we have this baby bear hoodie. Again, adorable. And then if you want to take it a step further than a hoodie, you can do a bear, snow bear onesie. Oh my God. Oh my God. Keep in mind, depending on what yarn you use, it's either going to be really thick and really hot or it can be light and breathable. So keep that in mind when picking your yarn because if it's going on a baby, you know, you don't want them to get overheated. Chill Time Child's Cardigan. Isn't this cute? She looks like a mini little librarian with that cardigan. It's adorable. Um, this newborn diaper cover. Okay, keep this pattern in mind because there are a couple coming up that are Etsy listings and they don't have a pattern listed but it's literally the same diaper cover just in different colors so keep this diaper cover pattern right in the forefront of your mind as we continue through this okay i'm going to be referencing this one so then we have this really cute daisy sundress or this dinosaur hoodie oh my god so cute so creative and then we have this pooh bear set okay cute for pictures cute for halloween like i said keep it in mind this whole like diaper cover thing we got going on the pattern i already showed you the pattern okay you're just gonna do it in red okay okay cool i don't want people to yell at me in the comments and say you didn't link the pooh bear pattern yes because the pooh bear pattern doesn't exist but a pattern for the diaper cover and a pattern for a beanie with ears and booties exist so those will be linked you just need to be creative with the colors okay in order to make this um another one we have is this sunflower baby hat and this little baby romper and then this cute little summer breezy top for i guess this kid's like toddler age oh it says right here sizes six to twelve months to ten years there you go uh then there's this vintage sun hat which adorable and then you can make this it says crochet girl dress but it really just kind of looks like a little swimsuit cover that's cute or this toddler size blue bucket hat or even baby socks you can make ba i bet those are fast to make because they're little because they have little feet 
Or there's this um, Snowberries dress. I think it's a Snowberries. I could be wrong. I don't, I don't really read cursive that well. Snowberries dress or this newborn puppy hat. Easy crochet pattern for pictures. Like this is like a newborn photo photography thing or Halloween or just, you know, you want to dress your baby up. I don't know why people dress their babies up. Another like photo opportunity or costume is this baby caterpillar cocoon or you can use these overalls and do a little farmer or a little frog and toad theme photo shoot oh my god kids every day raglan sweater there you go raglan sweater in kid sizes so i guess the kid patterns aren't really good for baby showers because the baby's going to be like a newborn but you know if you have like a niece or nephew or something there you go and that is all we have for clothing and accessories so let's slide right over to toys my favorite section personally when researching for this video and getting on the topic of baby toys and stuff i have come to find out there are a lot of creative people in the world very creative people things i was seeing things and i was like oh my god i didn't realize you can make that as like a toy like it's so smart especially with how expensive toys are um I, I don't have a kid, but I do walk down the toy section at Target, and that sh it's expensive. Especially just for a kid to break it, you know what I mean? So, I saw this pattern, like this, like, car pattern thing. Okay, actually, looking at it again, it looks kind of really creepy, but if your kid's tough and can handle the creepy-looking owl, um, it's kind of cool. It, like, holds tissues and, I don't know, keeps your kid occupied in the back seat. Um, there's this educational baby ball. I thought this was really cool because it's one of those things where like if your older kid threw it at the younger kid it's soft and made of yarn so like if you fill it full of stuffing it shouldn't get that heavy and shouldn't hurt that much so that'd be kind of cool toys that can be thrown and nothing breaks or gets hurt um i love quiet books the idea of quiet books are so interesting to me especially this quiet book you can add beads to the quiet book and they can kind of like move the beads and count the beads and learn how to count that's cool or um, bury the bear, baby lovey, or even like this dinosaur lovey. The, I think the concept of this is like a blanket with a stuffed animal in the center. So like it's also a blanket and a stuffed animal at the same time, which is kind of cool if you're traveling a lot with a kid and they want to have a stuffed animal and a blanket, but you don't want to keep track of both of those things in the airport. You combine them together. Also the idea of food, crocheted food is so cool. I forgot that like crochet food is kind of like made with the intention of children to play with it okay when i first started crocheting i saw crocheted food and i was like oh that'd be so cool to make just to have but i think the intention was originally for children so that's cool here's a little like sandwich play set inspiration for you you know to get some ideas for crocheted food or even this like toast with jam love the details be wary of what you put safety eyes on with children who like to put things in their mouths um, I would probably opt out of the safety eyes part and just use yarn for the eyes. Um, this animal finger playset looks fun. Or if you have a kid who is obsessed with Mario Kart or Mario Brothers, here's these one-up mushrooms. I found those for those kids specifically. These stacking toys are really cool. They don't make a lot of noise when they um, topple over, so that's cool. If you're a mom who can't deal with the sounds of kids playing, if that's overwhelming for you, you should crochet the toys because they don't make noise when they get thrown. Another y lovey pattern, like blanket stuffed animal pattern, this Yoda one. Um, it looks kind of like Yoda. I think it's supposed to be Yoda. Oh yeah, it says baby Yoda. Okay, there we go. It's just a little off. Um, tiny turtle collection. There you go. Or this concept is really cool, but the very hungry caterpillar oh my god if you have time it's the caterpillar will also hold all of the food that you crochet so that'd be kind of cool if you crochet a bunch of food for your kid and you need a place to store it you can make the hungry caterpillar and it'll also double as like storage space for the food you can even crochet these little lamb babies for the like either a mobile or like the car seat handle like this you can make a fairy magic wand that's cute that's really fun especially if if you have a kid who likes to hit with anything stick shaped they're like mm, that would be cool to make because it's soft so if they do hit their sibling with the wand it shouldn't hurt as bad 
Um, then there's this peelable watermelon. Anything with Velcro and like peeling abilities, that's really fun. Um, and another lovey, but like rocket ship, that's really cool. Or this rainbow snake. I'm actually gonna make one of these rainbow snakes for my room because I just think it'd be cool. And it's like a stash buster, you know, if you have a lot of little balls of yarn that you don't have enough to do a big project with, then rainbow snake is the way to go. Um, plush turtles on that turtle vibe. You can even make like spin balls. They look, they're basically hacky sacks. You can make them heavy or you can make them not heavy. It's up to you. Or you can make bare hand puppets for story time. That's fun. Or a stacking toy, but in the theme of a bee. So a bee stacking toy. I think that's cute. Or even crocheted crayons. Like, how fun is that? Especially, I'm thinking this way. Like, okay, I took some early childhood education courses throughout my college years. Um, and for kids who, like, cannot listen when you keep telling them, stop drawing on the walls, you know, blah, blah, blah. You can say, you can draw on the walls, but only with your big crayon. Like, crochet them a huge ass yarn crayon and let them go to town because it's not going to draw anything but they think they're drawing they're having fun you know swap it out take their crayons away give them a plushy crayon a huge one let them draw away if you like the idea of quiet books or quiet blocks i have this crochet quiet book patterns um it, it's a bunch of different patterns and these four are like a little preview of them I think this is such a cool concept, especially if you're on an airplane a lot or you go on a lot of car road trips and you want your kid to be occupied, but you don't want to hear the sound of the toy or whatever it is or disrupt the people on the plane. I've seen kids using quiet books on planes before and it's so cool. So if you have the time or you want to gift it to someone um, for like a birthday coming up or something, definitely do it. I think those are really cool and you can get really creative with like the different pages. Anyways, that is all we have for toys. So let's move into the last category which is miscellaneous or everything that didn't fit into the other two categories so we have bobble letters in the alphabet which is basically just a bunch of different squares of letters this is kind of cool for kids learning their letters or even like as a decor for like a nursery or a playroom that's kind of cool now i when looking for this i stumbled across the category of newborn photo shoots and there are so many themed newborn outfits or sets or whatever crocheted for these newborn photography shoots which did not realize how popular these things are but i found these two and i was like oh those are so cute okay so if you're a photographer or you're gonna get newborn photo shoots done and you want to make one of these for that definitely do it there's this peas in a pod one you crochet the little thing and then you make the beanies and there's like two peas in a pod i think that's cute and the other one is this frog lily pad with the the diaper cover and then the beanie come on come does that not make you want to have a baby oh my gosh keeping on theme with miscellaneous there's this bumblebee um car seat cover you know keep your baby out of the sun or this hanging toy organizer thought that was cool if you're looking more for like a functional item for kids to store all their toys there you go or this dinosaur rug which i thought was really cool and this crochet snowman apron so if your kid loves frozen make them an olaf apron there you go and that is all we have for all of our kids slash baby crochet ideas video once again just a friendly reminder everything i said is listed in the description box in the order that i said it with a linked free or paid written pattern or video tutorial for you to make everything that i showed you here if for some reason you click on something and it doesn't look like the picture that's because the picture didn't have a pattern it was an item being sold so i go and i look to the ends of the earth for an alternative video or written pattern that can help you in making that but it might not be exact and that's just because i'm trying to keep it free and accessible for you okay if you are not subscribed to my channel what are you doing hit the subscribe button if you like this video then hit the like button and if there's any other crochet idea vi crochet idea videos that you want me to make that i haven't made that aren't already on my channel then leave them in the comment section below and i will add them to the never-ending list of crochet idea videos that i am working through 
tirelessly to get them out for you every single Saturday at noon, okay? I have not missed a Saturday at noon in like three months, so you want to know when I post Saturday at noon um, with bonus videos throughout the week. So thanks again for watching. Love you guys. Bye!